Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. We're going to be talking about kindness today and one of the pictures that I put in our Google Classroom was of the area in front of my sidewalk where I wrote hi neighbor and a heart and I hope that you could take some sidewalk chalk and maybe do a little drawing on your sidewalk so that your neighbors might see you're thinking about them. It goes along with our book called Be Kind by Pat Zietlow Miller. Oh, nice and purple. Very fun. Tarnisha spilled grape juice yesterday. Oh, that looks sad, huh? All over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too. But mom always tells me to be kind, so I tried. Yeah. Wouldn't feel very good to spill it on your dress and then to have people laugh at you. I don't think it worked. Purple is my favorite color, I said. I thought Ternisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and that and didn't look at anyone. Oh, wonder how she's feeling. I almost told Ternisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want to make her leave again. So I painted purple splotches and then added green till I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Ternisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatpants? Spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Hmm that means. Making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi who lives alone. Oh, that's very kind with your neighbor who lives alone. Letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. He might win races in them too. Look, looks like she let her little brother have her fun shoes so he could play in them. Maybe it's helping. Oh, look, putting away the, putting the dirty dishes in the sink. Oh, I bet you could think of ways that you could help at home too. Cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. Oh, that would be funny. Do you see Otis? Pretty fun. Let's turn the page. Maybe it's paying attention. Telling Desmond I like his blue boots. Asking the new girl to be my partner. Listening to Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones I've heard before. Hmm, that sounds like a nice idea. That's very kind. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle. Thank you to the person who gives you their ice, the ice cream cone. Bless you when someone sneezes. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey, Carla. What's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mandelbaum. Being kind can be hard, too, even when you know what to do. Teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky, even when I'm trying to be patient. Oh, she's trying to teach her baby brother how to do the ABCs. But he's too little and he makes a big mess. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't being kind is really hard and really scary. Yeah, sticking up for other people can be hard, but being kind is important. Maybe I can't solve Ternisha's grapefruit problem. Maybe all I can do is to sit by her in art class and I paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe. I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things other people do. Oh, look, that man found the yarn that the woman dropped out of her basket. Oh, that's kind. Look, she's knitting with her granddaughter, and together they could grow into something big. And look, she now has a scarf that she's giving to her friend. Something really big, so big that all our kindnesses spill out of our school and spread throughout town. Look, they're all being kind to one another. Can you see all the things that they're doing? 
Maybe you can pick them out with your mom or your dad. Travel across the country, welcome home, and go all the way around the world. Wouldn't that be amazing to have our kindnesses go all the way around the world? Right back to Tarnisha and me so we can be kind again. There it is, being kind. So go take some sidewalk chalk and draw a picture for your neighbors. Tell them you're thinking about them. I'm thinking about you and I miss you and I'm sending you a really big hug.